Hey, 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 peeps, how you guys doing? So we are now 12 weeks out. Where's my tunes, G? Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh. Yeah. You know, I need my tunes. Awesome, so welcome to everybody to our Muscle Militia Monday live catch up. We are now sitting 12 weeks out from our first regional for 2020. And what are we going to talk about tonight, G? International news, anything noteworthy to talk about? And let's have a squeeze over here. Oh, look at that, look at that. Hang on, they can't see anything. To turn it on. Oh, there we go. So now you guys can follow. So, what do we got down going on? Oh, there we are. We're down here. Featured, so last week's overall winners. So, this is this is the show we spoke about last week. Yeah, this is Chris Minnes' show, Mother Load. Um, I see we've got uh, Chris Cormier's uh, show, Cheetah Productions in the middle there. Yeah, I studied the Pro League. I just need a piece of the stage and I know who he's in. Okay, so. Contest overalls. Um, they send the images on the hotel now. Yeah, I want to have a look at that. So, as you guys know, wellness is our latest addition to our divisions at NPC Worldwide. It's a beautiful division. I really love it. So for those of you that don't know, in every single one of our images of previous shows, you'll find on the NPC online website. Um, each of you will have your own profile, so you're able to search your name and see the history of the shows that you've done, um, and images. So yes, they are the high-res images. We supply them a lower resolution image so that they can process them a little quicker. But if you like what you see there, then you just get in touch with us and uh, we have uh, the high resolution images. But in essence, we we'll create the full profile for the NPC athlete up here. We'll go take a look at the wellness. Still loading, man. I'm gonna steal the Wi-Fi this week. It's Fortnite, actually. <laughs> Here we go, it's up. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go to wellness. Down. Wellness. Oh, she won the novice and she won the overalls. Click on it again. Click on it again. I want the girls to see this girl. So, G, give us a little bit of insight on what the judges are looking for in wellness. Well, wellness is definitely 
a slightly unbalanced physique where you have a more dominant lower half um, with the quads being a hugely developed muscle uh, the hamstrings the glutes so you typically more dominant in the legs division where in the upper part it doesn't balance out so for me it's the sort of go between the bikini to the figure um, in the middle there so it's like the figure without the back um, and the bikini with the with the figure legs um, so they kind of arrange in the middle um, very suited to the South American um, genetics in the in the definition and the density of the muscles that the Brazilian girls bring in it. Um, South American so yeah it's a very yes, very South awesome division. girls can also bring <laughs> hey, just give us that time. We're gonna we're gonna show the world what we got. But definitely, the forerunners at the moment are definitely Brazil for that division. So go check it out, guys. There's plenty of content on the NPC News Online regarding the latest contests um, for NPC Worldwide and IFBB Pro League. So they're both up there. Post every competition with all the. The images that Frank Zeppi and uh, JM load up there, um, go check it out. Um, always good uh, content. Yeah, pretty soon I can't wait for all the shows to start and get live streamed. And then we've got our Saturday entertainment sorted. Yeah. So just have a quick look at who your bikini overall was, for those that are interested. So tell us a bit about bikini and what the judges are looking for. So bikini, a very balanced upper body to lower body look, nice fullness to the muscle, however no separation, no like striation whatsoever, but we would love to see a very toned, balanced um, physique. Um, in the glutes, hemi area, in the rear shot, it's prevalent to see that tie in slight separation there. Girls must know how to pose and transition in, in this division. The posing is very unique. Um, the V section on the bikinis is very, very key. The, the portion on the side of the bottom of the bikini, I'd like to see the, the V taper shape so that the connectors sort of go over the hip as opposed to around the hip. Um, creates a, a very, very different look to the lady's physique. Um, if you've got that shaping of the bikini in the front. So. What else you want to chat about, Candy? That's a bit of the international news. Not um, fireworks as yet. I mean, we're all still opening up. So, awesome. a little so, bit slow there, but uh, there is some stuff happening. Um, next, I want to give the peeps an update on the gym's opening. Do you have some updates on what's going down, what went down at the court case on Thursday? Yes, I actually have some updated news and some news that you don't even know about. <laughs> yes, when I was delivering some goodies this afternoon, I actually had a gentleman call me. Um, look at his name, just so that I'm not talking pie in the sky. But there was a gentleman from FitSA that I've been in touch with. Mm. So this is news to my ears too. Yeah, Guys, so. at any time you can drop a question. I am yeah. following the feed. So if you have any questions you'd like to have answered, just drop it there in the comments. And at the end, no, near to the end, we will go and check out all the questions and answer those for you. So you're telling us about the gym? Yeah, so about the gyms, we've got um, Grant Austin, who has I've been in touch with, who heads up the FITSA um, organization that's doing the process with the courts um, regarding the way forward. Um, I've reached out to him and offered him my services in any capacity that uh, I can help. Um, with my com competency and qualification, so I was in touch with him today and he says he will be in touch with me 
regarding how we can assist them further. Um, but in that regard, he said to me that the documentation that they submitted to the court, um, the state only filed their file on the date of the court proceeding and therefore have a postponement and very confidently feel based on the discussions and that the states only submitted their case on the day um, that FITSA has a very strong case in reopening which for me process forward is if it's approved by the court it then goes back to cabinet cabinet then approved and written into legislation and off we go um, something that myself and Grant did touch on that I feel is very key for the fitness industry is self-regulation. It's important that we're able to self-regulate. Um, the minute the government's going to get into grading and regulating these facilities, I feel that we will be on the back foot um, and never progressing and keeping our facilities open. So I very, very strongly feel that we need some sort of a self-regulation and uh, the FedSA team will be in discussion with the various parties and myself as to how we can make that happen going forward. So, look out for possibly 1 August. Um, I don't want to give anybody some false hope, but I am looking at 1 August as a potential. I hope it's sooner. I think the whole country hopes it's sooner. So, I just wanted to touch on, remember guys, if you want to join the NPC Worldwide and become part of our family, um, you can do so, and if you want to check where the link is, the link is www.npcworldwide-registration.com. There are 10 steps there that you can go through and it will help you get your registration done. Um, gee, I did have a question with regards to the regional qualification, how things work. Okay, well, what would you like me to explain there, Candy? So, um, once you've got your NPC Worldwide membership, the next step for the athlete is to do a regional qualifier, right? Okay, so where do you find the schedule? Okay, there's a schedule, but there are nine countries, aren't there? We will have to 14. 12. Oh, 12. No, no, 14. 14, 14 countries where you will be required to compete in a regional in your own country prior to doing any pro qualifier abroad. So it's very important that you guys check out the list. We, as South Africa, are listed there. So it's imperative that if you plan to do any contest anywhere in the world, that you're issued by Champagne Productions, your regional certificate. We have a regional certificate that's got authenticity on it. We hand that to you. And if you're one of the 12 countries that arrive at a pro qualifier, you'll be required to produce that certification in order to answer. So we will give you that certification on all our regionals going forward and then this is where you'll be able to find a list of all the international pro qualifying regional contests on the website. So if you go to there, they are all listed. I know that Tony Bin, the General Secretary at the, the offices, keeps it 100% up to date. Um, he's an incredible guy. He's on the money every single time. You send him anything, he never misses a beat. So there you are. Highlighted right there is Champagne Productions Regional taking place. See, they were listed as 25. Yeah, I think I have to say Antonio. Update. We'll check out. It is on the 26th. So we've got regionals in South Africa, Mexico, and Colombia on that same weekend, along with South Korea. No, that's not the wrong date. Go between that. That's 25. Yeah, but that's July. So that's postponed. Further up, further up. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's great. So there's an aggressive one out there, guys. So I'll just start saying you to move the other one. There we go. So, Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5 is 12 weeks out. 26 September is that date. A lot of peeps have started prep. Even Miji. 
What you prepping for? I'm prepping for stage. Yeah, you're gonna get on that stage. I am. I'm the MC. This MC has to look at least okay against all the hot bodies that are gonna be on stage. Then if I can just touch on rules, guys, there is a listing on the NPC and IFBB Pro League website. If you're on ifbbpro.com, you go check out the rules via NPC Worldwide, NPC Rules, and they'll all be listed there. Alternatively, check out the Champagne Productions website. So that's we've incorporated exactly this, the same rules that are listed here will be on the Champagne Productions website. At the top, under athlete information, you go check out the rules and we have them all listed there for you along with QR codes so that if you've got a buddy that wants to have a copy of the rules you just let them scan that respective page be it on your computer or your phone and it'll take you straight into the division with the respective rules yeah so the only difference between the rules that are on pro league's website and our rules is that i've defined it according to the classes that we have here in south africa so for example you go check out the one on ipbpro.com in the bodybuilding there's various ways you can run the classes depending on the number competitors. of competitors which makes sense to judge so we could effectively do two classes three classes four classes five classes six classes and right up to seven classes if you have enough range and it's typically on weight so if you look at the seven class breakdown you've got up to and including 65 kgs then you've got lightweight up to 70 welterweight 75 middleweight in 80 light heavy 90 heavy 102 and then super heavy over which would be a really typical schedule to run however if you have a look at the one to six contest you've got up to and including 65 70 80 90 102 and over 102 so the one of the six classes is the one we typically use in our region except we don't use the bantam weights yep we lose the bantam weights um lightweights under 70 is 65 so we still got that box text um check it out guys there's the rules and if anything is not sure get in touch with us guys i cannot stress to you enough um, we were an open door policy at Champagne Production in the IFBB Pro League South Africa. Um, we're open pages, guys. We're open book. If you reach out to us for any information, um, we will gladly assist you um, in any division. If you're looking for posing, Candy can um, really assist you. She's got online ability. She's got the posing studios. Whatever you need, reach out to us. We've got uh, guys that will assist for the. the men's physique, classic, as well as the bodybuilding. We have everything available and NPC Worldwide posing is free guys. We do not expect the amateurs to have funding available to learn. So reach out to us, NPC Worldwide posing is free guys. If there's a particular pro, a pro card holder, an athlete that you would like personal time with reach out to them they are entitled by pro card of being a pro card holder to be remunerated it's the only ones that can be remunerated um in our federation so support the pros if you if you feel that they've got your style that you want to bring to the stage um alternatively if you want the, any tips from candy or myself just to ensure that you feel confident bringing it get a group together if you're any individuals doesn't matter Reach out to us, guys. We can help you. Um, Candy's got consultation on bikinis, heels, tanning, uh, whatever you need. Whatever you need, you get in touch with us. We are here to help you guys be the best that you can be and reach the ultimate, the ultimate pictures and the memories. And that's what we're about, guys. We want to we wanna help you to look the best that you can. So get in touch with us. Reach out. We're here to help you. Um, we'll put you in touch with the pros. Um, or anybody else that you are needing assistance with. Yeah, so speaking of posing and speaking of pros, we've got something up our sleeves. Yeah, yeah we do. 
because we usually run our Pose with the Pros seminars um, twice in a year. Um, we usually do it at the beginning of the year just for all the newbies that want to learn. And then we usually do one before the end of the year, usually before Muscle Militia. So in lieu of the fact that we anticipate we're not going to do a posing seminar in the flesh, we are going to be doing a posing virtual seminar and it will be free access to everybody. So we will release details of that. Um, On next week's next week's live, we will give you all the information um, of what the time starts, what the schedule looks like. Um, yeah, we'd love to cover one division a week. We're going to incorporate all the pros from local to international. So reach out to us, guys. Tell us who is it that you want to get the tips from. Who is it that you would love to know a little bit of insight on stage swag from? Let's see. Hayley van Heerden is asking, when are you judging men's bodybuilding? Are you a federation that rewards conditioning or size? So when you are judging men's bodybuilding. Yes. Cool. Simply put, IFBB Pro League, guys, is a package. Size, definition, balance, symmetry, density, stage presence, your tan. Everything is a balance of package. They cannot be said that size beats the conditioning. It's a balance there of a pro league that we're assessing. Okay? So if you want to play a size game and you don't have the conditioning on stage, be aware that that's what we will judge you accordingly. So if you have great conditioning but don't have a size, it's going to hamper you in that regard. So it's a balance there of um, all of it. If that gives you a brief explanation. If you'd like to see the more detailed items as to what we're judging, if you go look on the MPC Worldwide page and you scroll down to bodybuilding, which is the very first one, scoring. Comparisons. Okay. Presentation. Yeah, there's all the information as to what we're doing in the presentation rounds, the comparison rounds, the final routine, and confirmation. Um, yeah, if that helps. And it also covers all the mandatories, but when we do the virtual workshops, we will go through all of those in detail. So I'm looking forward to those, G. So if that gives you some insight, balance of the package. Um, and that's across the board, guys. So G's always saying to me, like, focus on the things that you take with you to stage. Like, focus on those things. And those things are your physique, okay? Like, we're bodybuilders and we're working on our physique. So your physique you take to stage. Your stage where you take to stage. So make sure that you guys do your research and have a look at what our look is with MPC Worldwide, okay? For the guys and for the girls. Um, for example, with the guys, we don't allow different colors or the diamantes, right? Yeah, single color, single color briefs can be uh, swayed, no problem. It's just one single color, that's the key um, for the gents. Girls, go oh, well, it's what, what makes your body look the best, guys. That's often I have inquiries what's allowed, what's not allowed in men's and ladies requirements at the end of the day well for me the simplest answer is pro league wants you to show your body and your physique the best that it can so find the cut the style that fits you um i know the guys at dolls and dukes have got an amazing range of stuff um perfect for the npc stage um get a consultation with them they've got online orders they can assist you with 
with what you need. So yeah, Candy's one hundred percent spot on. The, the the subtle the subtle things that you bring to stage make all the difference in when I say that your posing is is key. You're, the tan, um, and we will go into tan a bit more detail in the next three or four lives um, as we unpack what do I mean by what is key on the tan. So we'll unpack tan a little bit in detail for you guys, the types of bikinis, where you can get the bikinis, um, things of that nature. We're going to help you guys get to that level that you feel that MPC is thing of your past and you want to go to the IFBB Pro League. Now we've got talents in this country that uh, I believe we're going to have a lot of pros that are competitive on the international scene. It's all good and well you've got pros but how competitive are they um, when they reach that Pro League? So I'll notice a very quite a distinct difference in Candy and myself. She's very much focused on the NPC uh, worldwide side of things for Champagne Productions where I am very much focused on the IFB pros and getting behind them and making as much um, media noise about them as we possibly can because we're very proud of the South African athletes. Yeah. So if you have a look up there, the points, current point standing for the athletic coin that will be so, taking place is the current list. So like to get here and to get your points, okay? To get your points, you earn your points in our regional qualifiers as well as our pro qualifiers. So that points table, um, there is a there is a sliding scale with the points. It is up on our website. But besides getting on the team for Athleticon, there's pro qualifiers. So that's our big focus. And then once you get your pro card, there's Mr. Olympia. So again, guys, we will regularly share the Olympia page takeovers on Instagram. Um, this week we had Ashley. Um, yeah, check out for those. They're awesome lives. Um, yeah. Arash Shabar, Arash Shabar, Shabar was the week before Ashley. Um, again, you can see every, every week Brian Terry was before that. So we're going to do something similar in our Monday platforms. We will reach out to uh, pros and get them for a five-minute chat so that you guys can get your questions in and be more affiliated and associated to your pros. Let us know who you've got. I've got a couple of bikini girls that I have on a short list. Um, wellness goals and men's physique. So I haven't a preference on where we start, where the demand is. Let us know. We'll, we will check it out. Yeah, another thing for you, Hayley, if you've got anybody that's into the men's physique, we love muscle and MPC, IFBB Pro League. So, the physique guys, there's no, there's no, being they are seriously not small guys. They are very muscular developed um, athletes with a tiny, tiny little waist. So, that V taper coming down. Um, is what we're looking for in the men's physique. Um, the current champion is Raymond Edmonds. Um, but there's a couple of great shots. Of so that's going to be the awesome part Daniel about Lewis. our Pose with the Pros virtual workshops, which will be uploaded to our YouTube channel for you guys to constantly refer back to. And we'll touch on everything, like what is what the judges are looking for in each division, and we'll go in depth for each division. Hey, G? Yeah, like giving you guys more insights and clarity as to what is it that the guys on the pro level are assessing because ultimately that's what you're trying to get to is the pro level so if you're an aspiring amateur with the MPC and IP project, just look at who the Olympia champion is in your respective uh, category um, that's what you want to do that's who you want to emulate 
align yourself to comparing yourself to others. I mean, this is this is the greatest iteration, in my opinion, the likes of Ronnie Coleman, Dexter Jackson, um, you got the gift full heath, the current uh, Miss Bikini champion, Issa Bassini. So that's very important, guys, is that once you know and understand what look you're working towards, be sure to make sure that your coach understands what look you are working towards, okay? Key to success? Keep educating yourself. The more you learn, the more you um, upskill and share information, the better athlete I feel you can be. And the best place to learn from is from your pros. Um, after all, they have made it to where we want to get all of you amateurs to. We want to get all our talent to the pro stage. And yeah, Candy and I are an official pro club holders as us. There's Officials. officials and I myself as a judge if anything you need reach out guys we want to help I cannot stress that enough like, like my passion is helping people every single day be it in the, the fitness industry or the safety industry I just want I want to help um, it's my passion in life so please feel free to get in touch with us we will always have your best interest at heart and point you in the right direction yeah, for, for our champions and athletes that have been with us for um, a year and a half, Pro League has been in, more than a year and a half, and our time has gone so quickly, almost two years that um, Pro League and NPC have been in South Africa. Yeah, let me just list there for those that are still interested, what are those countries that are required where you're required to do the region in your home country before you travel so it is our mandate at the pro qualifier anybody from these respective countries need to produce certification that they've done a regional from their home country so you've got australia brazil canada germany india italy japan the netherlands New Zealand, Portugal, us in South Africa, South Korea, Spain and the United Kingdom. So those countries have NPC worldwide established where points are able to collect it in order to go to the athletic con. We will um, ensure that all those countries present their certification before we allow them the entry. Um, it's imperative that we check in that, um, as it is a requirement of our president, Jamaica. And we've got on file, we've got copies of all those countries' um, regional certificates, so we know what to look out for. Uh, G -G -G. Yeah, just for those that and would like to know, yeah, there's the points. And then for the South Africans that would like to know, are they... What is their qualification status? Well, again, underneath the athletes' rules on our page, you'll find a regional qualification status. Every month, the team at the office update this, and they basically list who's active. So all the other international promoters are also able to verify if an athlete hasn't got their card, but they're able to show that they're currently active on our website. Um, this is updated all the time. So we have a list of every single athlete that ever ever competed with us um, and their status. And you will see here at the bottom whose regional status has expired and that we've highlighted in red. So if you're planning to do any pro qualifiers anywhere in the world and your name is listed in red, you're required to sign up and battle at a regional get that uh, certification from us and you can shoot it. So, can you get this list updated again? My next update is due for the 19th of July. So that's when the next update will come into effect. <clears throat> no. I don't know what that was doing in the playlist. Let's fix that. <laughs> okay, put some more mellow tune. Mellow, but bouncy. Okay, yeah. back, 
back to the regional qualification stage. There we go. So guys, MPC is the place to be. Join our family and break on through to the other side because 400 athletes listed in this regional qualification status can't be involved. And we look forward to growing our family and having you with us. And for those that are also interested, we've still got some amazing goodies on our online store. Muscle militia masks. Entries for muscle militia Muscle militia model search, muscle militia clothing, and what I'm looking for is the section. So we still got some of that out there. Go check it out. The goodies we see every week. If I'm kitted out with it, I love uh, I love the quality um, and anything that obviously represents our awesome generation. So go check it out. There's some goodies on there. Um, there's one or two that have actually arrived that we will possibly show you next week and have that listed. So there's a new one in the in the office. Awesome source. But best to if you check in, just drop me a WhatsApp because there's limited sizes available. And then don't forget, guys, um, about our competition that we've got on the socials. We are looking for your input on the overalls jacket for the Muscle Militia Grand Prix. And don't forget, these bad boys, that's two twin sets of the Militia Mars are up for grabs. So we want to hear from you what your ideas are. Um, and as usual, guys, follow all the handles which are flashing above my head. Can I just talk this a bit? Boom. So follow all the hashtags um, to stay up to date with all the information. For anybody that has missed out on any of our previous episodes of Catch Ups, um, you can go to our YouTube. Everything is loaded on our YouTube. G, 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 I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover today. So guys, if you have any questions that you would like us to answer, you can drop it in the DMs of any of the pages and I will collect it. And every Monday you can tune back in and get an update. Uh, hopefully next week, Monday, we can get somebody live on the show just to add some spice. I have somebody lined up, but uh, not 100% uh, confirmed yet. So... It'll be a surprise for next week, and then going forward, we will announce who the guests will be. You only want 10, 5 minutes of the time, just touch base, some interesting stuff, and give people insight of what is going on. Yes. So tag us in your prep files, and I will keep you guys updated. Yeah, yeah we will go in more detail as we are running up to the show so if there's anything in particular you want us to address and highlight and give you detail on hit us up and we will make it happen otherwise guys we will just follow what i feel is essential in the priorities and we'll flow from there and you can hit us up anytime Alrighty. be safe people train hard diet Keep to that plan. 12 weeks. We'll see you. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Ciao. Yeah.